What up everybody, it's Justin Romine here. Welcome back to another video. This time I'm gonna show you how to make anything you want disappear in your videos. Kinda like this. All right, y'all, so first thing that you need to do is you need to download the motion graphics for to create that fiery explosion that you're seeing in these videos. I go to Motion Array, and basically you wanna search for a motion graphics video. If y'all don't have a subscription to Motion Array, I highly recommend it. There's lots of awesome stuff on here from plugins to presets to motion graphic templates, everything. So download that, then you wanna head over to Epidemic Sound and search for a sound effect for that. You, you can do an explosion, you can do, I like doing the party popper. So then you go, you import all that into Premiere Pro. And now when you're watching this, what's actually happening is I filmed, so you look at this Kleenex box, I filmed me throwing up the Kleenex, I'll turn off this top layer right here, and then letting it fall right to the ground and staying there for a second and then moving after that. So the pen clip, this is what I actually did to make this happen in real time. This is what happened, like trying to figure it out. Oh, I threw it like behind me. And then, you know, you look around and you're like, huh, that was cool. What you want to do is you want to unlink these by tapping Command L and then duplicate this clip by holding down Option and dragging upward. Basically get it to where you don't see the pen after it throws. That's where I want it to explode. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this clip and just line it up with whenever that pen is actually gone. So this is what it looks like. And then you obviously want to come in here and delete that audio of the pen landing on the ground and drag that there. It kind of looks good, but my hand does change a little bit. So what we want to do is we want to line that up a little bit better. Now what you can do is you can drag this and drop it right over that one. Go to effects, type in cross dissolve and you can cross dissolve these and you reduce it down and it's gonna, it's gonna blend the two frames together a little bit better. All right, so once you get that all lined up to where it looks as natural as possible, then you wanna go in and you wanna add your explosion. For this one, the one I found on Motion Array, you just drag and drop it, the movie file, and you want it to start right about the same time that the pen is disappearing from the frame. And then all you do is scale it position it where the pen is actually exploding. So right there, so now, now it looks like it disappeared, boom. And add your sound effect and you are good to go. Now another way that you can do this and make it look as natural as possible is when you have the action split up between the left and the right side of the frame. So here I'm on the right side of the frame and the trash can where I'm throwing this is on the left side. What I can do in this case is Command L to unlink these, still duplicate it. Now we're gonna go to that clip where we want the water bottle to explode, which is right about there. And then we're gonna come to this clip and we're gonna mask it out to where you can see the part that I masked out right there. And what's gonna happen is, this is the part of the clip where the water bottle has already passed. So you're not gonna see anything pass through here because this top clip is this section and then this bottom clip is this entire other section. So you can see as soon as it starts to hit that mask, it disappears. And then you go grab your explosion, drag that over, and you're gonna line it up, scale it, scale it down just a little bit. And now when we go back and watch it, then add your effect, which I got from Epidemic Sound, and right when it's popping, add some effects to that sound, add some music behind it, you got a pretty cool video. All right, so that's about it. I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. I love responding to all your comments and helping out in any way that I can. And we will catch you guys in the next video.
Thank you.